Okay, it's been a little while since I did a video on some mods. I've done a few more mods, and uh, uh, this is our second season with our uh, A-Liner Scout Light, and um, just thought I'd go over. We've had uh, over the last year we've done a couple mods, so I have a couple videos I'm gonna put together into one here and kind of show you what we've done over the last year. We just got back uh, from a, our longest trip yet. Uh, five day four nights up in the upper peninsula of Michigan so we learned a lot of things in that trip things we want to improve upon so I'll go inside I, my little cargo door is doing pretty good I did notice I had to pack a little better with it traveling down the highway everything was kind of jammed in there so I had to be a little more deliberate about how I packed everything in there <clears throat> going inside and of course it's not set up for camping right now. It's just sitting in my driveway. But uh, we've done some improvements on a few things, and I'll show you those. Um, we've changed up our lighting system a little bit. Again, we don't like these lights that they have in here. We've come up with a couple of lights here. One of them is this one here. Plugs in continuously into the USB. And it runs off a of 12 volt. I'm trying to convert everything to 12 volt because I'm taking a big trip this fall, and uh, it's gonna. A lot of nights are not gonna be plugged into shore power. The other light we bought was this one here from Amazon. It's really nice. It uh, has a little switch on the bottom, and you turn it on. And what you do is you charge this battery, you charge this up, and then it runs for a while, or you can plug it into the USB and just run it off it all the time. But anyway, it has a real nice uh, lamp here. Let's see if we can see here. Well, maybe I didn't turn it on. Let's see. There's the switch. So let's turn it on there. There we go. And so what happens with it is that you hold this button and it you can you can go to different levels, which is really nice. It's LED and you can go down to almost off. Or just hit the button. And then it also has this night light mode. It comes out of the bottom. My wife got she just leaves that on most of the night. And we went for that four day trip and had no problems with it all. It didn't run down. And so this thing can work pretty good, like I say, with on any, that way it's kind of cordless, and you can use it anywhere you want. So that really comes in handy. Like I say, this other one we have here is the more it has the same dimming feature, but it has to be plugged into USB all the time, which is still 12 volt. So that's why we're trying to convert everything to that. So uh, we'll get on, and I'll show you a few other things we did over the last couple of years, um, over the last year, I should say. This is, only the, this is the first time we really got a good try out of our little window setup that I made. I'll, I'll put a link on the end of this video where I made those up. and But it really worked out well. Had a nice rain and with the fan on and it didn't suck any rain in at all. So that worked out really well. And this is like the second time we've used our 10 by 10 Easy Up. And it's worked out pretty well for us. This site didn't have a whole lot of shade. Plus, we really put it up for shade and end up needing it for rain. It wasn't supposed to rain that much, but we've had rain almost two days we've been here. And there's our one on this side here, the little cantilever. Another thing we purchased this is through uh, Woot.com, but you might be able to find this if you look somewhere else online. It's a light. It's really nice. It's uh, It's got a bug light built into it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a purple bug light in there. And then you also have a three-stage light, which is nice. And this, again, this is on a battery. You plug this in, the USB, and it charges. Uh, again, we had two of these and we ran them in our screen tent and inside just to catch any little bugs. You can see there's a couple little gnat type bugs in here. It's not really for heavy duty bugs, but what we did is we hung one inside of here 
and then we have one in our screen tent that way if anything got in while we you know open and closing the door that it would hopefully zap those it doesn't zap and make a big bunch of noise it just they just get stuck on there and that's the end of it so can't remember what we paid for that it was kind of a clearance type deal and um, if you can find those online I'll see if I can't find them online somewhere and try to post on this video okay we're here in the camper the uh, we're doing a uh, fix of a mod we did earlier we originally had a microwave that we put in the cabinet here and uh, problem was with we used these pool noodles and every time we drive it shipped around and it was banging into the air conditioner so we made it inside of here we've put a board here and one in the back and one in the front and the side and then we're going to put one in the front to hold the microwave in place so i'll show you what that looks like here in a minute when i get it all put in that should keep it steady while we're going down the road just something we learned on as far as going on a longer trip we realized it was going to bounce around too much so got that back in the microwave and like i say that's a microwave it's a 700 watt microwave from Walmart is about the only one that'll fit in this particular hole Just to give myself a little more room. I did take this uh, Clasp that, that hooks the door Close just to give myself more clearance there to get it in now. I can put that back on What you want to do when you put this in you want to make sure that it's to your right That way this door has clearance when it opens up like this And then make sure you have clearance in the back so it doesn't hit the air conditioner. And what we did in the front, like I say, you see the boards here that we put in right here. And then a board on this far side over here and then one in the back. And in the front we put a thin, thin one just to keep this up against there. That way you can open your door. Otherwise if you put a thick board here it wouldn't go up the door. It could jump off this a little bit. But it still won't go from side to side or back against the air conditioner. But the worst it could do is come up against this door. And we haven't had a problem with it coming out of the door yet. So hopefully that'll work for that problem. One more add-on we did this time on this trip. We added this bag holder. Which is basically just a plastic strip that hooks on. and You put your Walmart bag on there. It comes in a two-pack. It's pretty nice. I'll try to leave a link where you can get those like we got them from the e-trailer one last thing I did is uh, I tried I like to clean this and give this thing a uh, scrubbing every once in a while and I don't like doing it with it completely folded down because I'm just worried that that's this rubber seal up here at the top is not going to hold that well uh, so I always leave mine up at home so I ended up going to Walmart and purchasing this and it worked out pretty good um, as an extender rod and it has a water hose connection here and a lever to turn on and off. You can turn on kind of like a mid-range, dip this in a soapy water and you can scrub, you know, because normally you can't really get up here, the high points up here on the top. And where I'm at, I'm kind of near the woods so I get a lot of mold, mildew, so I want to keep that scrubbed off on a regular basis. and. Uh, I just got back from a trip from all the way up about almost 2,000 miles and up to uh, Michigan and back, and uh, we had a lot of a lot of road dirt because we went through a couple rainstorms, so that's worked out really well. And uh, just like 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 to know anything else you guys come up with, and any any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, as usual, subscribe and. Uh, if you like this video, like I said, I just threw it together in a hurry just to kind of show you what we did this year. It's going to be a busy year for me. I just retired, and we're going to be using this thing more and more all the time. So, happy camping.